suppose you're right. End of the day, I'm only half Japanese and half futuristic alien cyborg from the future. Cyborg alien, elf, fairy, thing. Hello friends and welcome back to uh, let's play The Last Days of Spring. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Full disclosure, this is a sponsored video, which means I was paid to play it. Information about that, as well as a link to where you can find this game, are in the description down below. Without much further ado, we we're talking to our dad while we're on some sort of trip to uh, temples or something. I don't remember where we're. <laughs> I don't remember where we're at. Um, I think it started with an S. Some place that starts with an S. Let's keep going. Um, we already read this part. Alright, I mean, I do love the fact that this culture has also stopped drugs and alcohol from being a big thing in students' lives. He's just talking about how he loves, uh, the culture of school and stuff. But I worry about some of the students, like, they'll go wild once they go to college. He's, he's worried about students being repressed from experiencing life in high school so that when they go to college, they don't know what to do with themselves and they go over the top, right? Uh, he thinks that there's too much of an emphasis on having your whole life prepared, you know, but, but when you're in high school, instead of, you know, taking the opportunity to sort of grow as a person, right, and experience new things. Even the Sunset Festival, it's so sad. You spend your whole school career, like, liking someone, and then if you're lucky enough to have them reciprocate your feelings on that day, you get a short relationship that ends if both of you go to different colleges. It is kind of dumb, I guess. Yeah. It's what I think, but no matter what, I want you to make deci I make decisions for yourself. Obviously, listen to what your teachers and peers say, but also make your own decisions. Not knowing what you want to do with your life is okay. Not knowing what college you want to go to is okay. Thanks, Dad. It sounds like you have a lot of faith in my choices. <laughs> I... Take a gap year if you like, and really explore different career paths, and find out what fulfills you and makes you happy. You've worked really hard and have, an, have, had, have had awesome grades, and keep up with the competition at Hayabusa. I think you deserve time to yourself to have fun and explore yourself. Dot dot dot. <laughs> you okay, honey? I love you, Dad. They like each other. I love you too, darling. Don't make it awkward. Don't make it awkward, Dot. Don't make it. Don't make it awkward. Don't make it awkward, Dad. Don't do it. Don't do. Don't make it awkward. We're in public. So make me a small, a uh, small promise. Sure, anything. Well, not anything. For the love of God, please fill in that ridiculous graduation career plan sheet so Miss Sonata will leave me alone. Last episode we said we forgot to do it, and I didn't know anything about it, so that might as well be true. Sure, <laughs> I'll do it tonight, maybe, I guess. You know, if I have time, I'll pencil it in. I'll pencil it in, I'll put pencil it in for eight. Or nine. Or not at all. <laughs> put anything, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> you haven't noticed, have you? Noticed what? Miss Sonata, she has a crush on you. Well, that came right out of left field. What are you talking about? She does? You should see her face light up when you enter the room. She only bothers you because she wants, to, wants an excuse to talk to you. Hmm. Are you so eager to have a new mother? <laughs> Things are moving a little fast for me right now. <laughs> no, I just want you to be happy. You haven't dated since mom left. I wanted to say something funny or clever there, but I didn't have anything to say. I had nothing. I was just out of things to say. Haven't uh, felt the need. You and Ganta are everything I need. But we don't like Ganta. We secretly don't like Ganta. <laughs> Half the single female teachers have a crush on you. You should take advantage. Well, of course they have a crush on him. Look at what he's wearing. That robe is so manly and hot sexy thing that what scarf a scarf really brings in the lady's attention you're exaggerating you know i'm not mm, those glasses that scarf everything it mm, talking about your mother i was on the phone with her yesterday 
Don't you want to fly to Canada this summer and see her? Eh, maybe. I understand. Anyway, I have to bring these documents to the headmaster before the day ends, so shall we head back? Sure. Dad? Yeah. Thanks for bringing me to Saitama. That was the name, Saitama. Anytime, kiddo. Best no one sees you at school since you took the day off. Any place in particular you want me to drop you off? I think I'll take a walk in the park close to home. I want to think about the things we talked about. Gonna take a walk in the park. And it's Yuri again. Luca, hi! Uh, Nakano-san. Nakano-san? Who the heck's Nakano-san? How are you? Nice to see you in my neighborhood. I don't understand Japanese. I don't know what Nakano-san. Who's Nakano? Please! Oh, her last name's Nakano. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I apologize. Her last name's Nakano. Please, no need for the formalities. Please call me Yuri. You know, like a normal person. I sure as hell will not be calling you Kishimoto. Uh, cool. You think the whole calling each other by our last names thing is really quite silly, to be honest? Imagine you're at someone's wedding, and you don't know all of their family too well. You end up calling nearly everyone the same thing. They've written entire comedies based on this tradition. Um, you're not wearing enough clothes. I... <laughs> I don't think it's a bad thing. I guess so. I've never really thought about it. No, no, I'm in complete agreement with Yuri. The whole calling everyone by their last name. No, no, you know what? I guess so. I think you're onto something, Yuri. I think you're really smart. You wear weird future earring things and a halo. I'm, I'm almost certain you're a space alien from the future. The other thing is the whole wondering when you're going to start calling each other by your first names. I mean, my dad has business partners he's known for 35 years who he still calls by last name. How weird is that? It's a different generation, and again, it is our culture. I suppose you're right. End of the day, I'm only half Japanese and half futuristic alien cyborg from the future. Cyborg alien. Elf. Fairy. Thing. Narrator, this explains a lot. <laughs> my mother is Russian and my father is Japanese. They gave me the name Yori as its name uh, exists both in Russian and Japanese, even though in Russia it's a boy's name. Oh my god. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, my dad claims that's why I have such a strong personality, because my mom gave me a boy's name. My mom disagrees. She claims it's just the spirit of Russia in me. <laughs> oh, you, okay, okay. So are you going to the Sunset Festival? Um, yeah, for sure. Sure. I has been talking a lot about it lately. I'm guessing she's really got, her, uh, got you roped in too. I think it might be interesting. I might pass by for fun. Might be cool to see how fancy intellectual prep school kids like to let loose. She goes to a different school. I think you're, uh, I think that given your lifestyle, you might be disappointed. <laughs> I don't think so. Life is, is about discovery. The reason my life is interesting is because I'm constantly looking for things to make it more vibrant. When I was a kid growing up in Oh, when I was a kid growing up in Moscow, winters were the worst. I was locked in and couldn't see anybody. I was so happy when we moved to Tokyo as I could go out every day. I made myself a promise that I would go out every day to discover something new. That's a really positive way of looking at life. Thanks. I'm glad you think so. Uh, how do you have time for school, homework, and your social life? As you may have guessed, my life isn't very... Traditional. I straddle on C grades at school and actually don't have too much of a social life in school. The majority of my friends are people who I meet in my adventures. Oh? Yep. Almost, amongst my closest friends are the postman, the lady who plays the violin in Shinjuku Station, and the man who makes ramen in Shimotikazawa. Nailed it. I've never met anyone like you. It's really interesting. I think I could learn something from you. You can learn something from literally anybody, guys. Uh, Yuri's onto something. Go out, talk to people, meet people. That is incredibly interesting, no matter what stage of life you're in right now. I don't care if you're young and in 
in, in school and you think you know everybody, or if you're old and you think you know everybody, meet people, talk to people. You would be surprised what you learn from people. We all learn from each other. What is it you're wanting to learn? Uh, how to live a fulfilling life? It's all been a bit hazy since final exams finished. Embrace the haziness and confusion. I think the fact that you're having these feelings is such a beautiful thing. Really? That feeling that there could be more, that things aren't enough, that that's how you're thinking, that you're not another robot on society's cogworks. You have to explore the world around you to find the answers within you. This is kind of inspirational. That's deep. So the journey begins. I like you, Yuka. I have a feeling you and I are going to be good friends. Farewell. Oh, thanks. Bye. Put on more clothes. <laughs> What an interesting person. Initially, she came off as a bit arrogant, but she has some interesting knowledge and theories. I think I should talk with her more. Anyway, it's still early. I think I might pass by the cafe. Oh, the cafe's got that other lady who's dressed super... Yep. Yeah. Mm, I remember her. I don't remember what voice I gave her, because I'm running out of voices. Uh, Takeo, that's this guy. Um, <laughs> a large latte with cinnamon and skimmed milk, please. Thanks. I don't know what his voice was. Oh, by the way, oh, hey, Yuka, good to see you again. Grab a seat and I'll be with you after I finish this kid's drink. I don't know. Hey, Yuka. Oh, Takeo, how are you? I'm uh, good, thanks. Uh, how about you? I didn't see you in any of our classes today. Oh, no, the cat's out of the bag. They're going to know I was playing hooky. I went to Saitama today with my father. We took a little holiday. <laughs> Oh, that explains why Professor Kishimoto wasn't there in history class today. You got the usual substitute teacher, right? Uh, Mr. Deadeyes. That guy should not be a teacher. I know, right? He should be a police interrogator or something. Are you grabbing a drink here? Do you have uh, time? Care to join me? This is a lot of questions I'm throwing at you all at once. Ooh, maybe I need a date for the spring festival. Which is probably what this is going to turn into. I don't remember if this is the guy that I met on the train, though. I don't think he is. I think this is a different guy altogether. I think I'm slowly creating a love triangle that I don't want to be a part of. <laughs> but that's all. That's going to have to do it for this episode. So if you enjoyed it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. All that stuff you can do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> More of this... More of this to come. Sorry, I completely blanked. I didn't know what to say. Do all this stuff, but whatever you guys do, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of Matching Man Mo. Ciao, ciao.